do. That is a dam over there. And we have no boat. The RV-810E was designed from the ground up by Kike Somanzini and the team at Flex Innovations to be an aircraft that beginners through even Bob Hoovers can enjoy. It has one of the widest flight envelopes of any Park Flyer 10 size model aircraft available on the market. Having flown it over the last six months, we've learned that it tracks well, maneuvers on a dime, and has incredibly friendly handling. So, we decided to partner with Flex Innovations and sell the airplanes we enjoyed most from their fleet. More on that later. Ever heard the phrase, got wind? It's a term coined by the team at Flex because of the Aura 8 Advanced Flight Control System, or AFCS, that's included with their aircraft. Think of it like AS3X, but even more locked. You can fly in gusty winds, and the Aura makes it feel like you're flying a plane that's 10 times bigger on a calm day. It does all this without ever flying the plane for you or interfering with your inputs. You'd have to fly it to believe it. Now, we're used to some folks in our hobby thinking that the Aura, or gyros in general, are a band-aid for a bad flying aircraft, right? They'd be sadly mistaken. The RV-8 was designed to be an exceptional flying aircraft even with the Aura off. Don't believe us? Here's some accelerated stalls while loading up the wing with the Aura on and off. No bites. She's locked. Speaking of loading up the wing, the RV-810E's wing loading comes in at just over 14 ounces a square foot. For the type of flying this plane is designed to do, 3D and sport flying, this is a solid number. Regarding the Aura-8, out of the box, you can use nearly any 2.4 GHz protocol out there with it. Flight mode-wise, she comes with a stock configuration, or config file, which is perfect for getting her into the air. This config file contains flight modes, also known as dual rates, expo, and gyro settings, in an all-in-one setup. As a personal preference, we opted to modify our config file to the advanced option, which gives her full-span ailerons for 3D flying, as well as crow, which makes for some fun approaches and landings. Finally, we changed some gains and expos, since these settings generally vary from pilot to pilot. Stay tuned for some videos on how to utilize the Aura Config tool on your Windows PC. If flying off the water is something you enjoy, you'll be glad to hear that optional floats with internal LEDs for night float flying are available for the RV-810E. They were a breeze to assemble, no glue is required, and once completed and installed on the plane, she was quite the looker on water. We haven't had the opportunity to fly on floats at night, but we did get her up at daytime and had a blast doing some takeoffs, landings, acro, and even dumb thumbing it and nosing her over. Dude, that is a dam over there. And we have no boat. Yes. Since we aren't Jesus, we weren't able to walk on water and had to leave it up to the luck of Somanzini to use the prop underwater to get her to shore. It should be noted that after drying her out overnight, she had zero electrical damage and flew again. The docile habits of this plane make it great for someone's second or third aircraft who's looking to explore different facets of flying without having to buy multiple planes. It's an excellent plane to grow into, even for the experts. Many of us in the hobby have yet to fly in complete darkness, and the RV-810E is optionally sold in a plug-and-play configuration with bright internal lighting. There's also a version without internal lights that does still include navigation and landing lights. The full internal lights unlock a part of the hobby that isn't often tapped into. It should be noted that you will need to run a separate, smaller 3S pack for the lights off the battery's balance leak. The lights that come with the night version are incredibly bright and illuminate the ground when you're flying right off the deck. If you're interested in the day or night version of the RV-810E, both can be purchased directly from us at tailheavyrc.com. We strive to bring a mom-and-pop feel to our online RC storefront and value small companies pushing to make positive changes in our hobby. Flex Innovations is exactly that, which is why we have joined forces with their team to promote the planes we enjoy flying the most from their fleet. We also have released our first round of t-shirts, so if you're interested in repping Tail Heavy at your local flying site, be sure to pick one up. The first 25 customers to order on TailHeavyRC.com will receive a limited edition sticker. We offer free shipping on all products, including planes. Once you've received your RV-810E, brace yourself for ludicrous mode, minus the Tesla. For reference, most similarly sized RC airplanes on the market fly in a 3-4S power setup. The RV-810E has a totally redesigned power system that allows the plane to fly in a 6S 1500 through 1800 pack. The higher voltage setup means less amps are drawn while supplying a much higher thrust, all while running at lower temps when compared to a 4S setup. What we really like about using 6S packs with this bird is the true 2-1 to ludicrous punch-out. We've yet to own a plane this size that has the sheer amount of power that the RV-810E has. 
We set our timer on the throttle for 4 minutes, flying at harder 3D on a 6S 1600 to keep it light. You could easily get 8 to 10 plus minutes on her if you're easy going on the throttle, especially on an 1800 pack. Let's take a quick break from flying and take a closer look at her on the ground. The RV810E comes out of the box with a 12x5 wood prop and is optionally sold in either an orange or green color scheme. It also comes with single servo connection ports for each wing, which makes assembly and disassembly a cakewalk. There's also an oversized battery hatch that allows for a super accessible battery compartment. Got big fingers? No need to bring your kid to the field so he can plug your plane in for you. Speaking of, the big hatch makes screwing in the wing bolts for each side of the wing super easy. There's no such thing as a perfect plane, and as such, here are a couple quick critiques we have on the RV810E. First up, the battery tray. Unfortunately, the plywood is arguably a little thinner than what would be required to take the abuse of peeling back strong Velcro on repeat. Over time, our first RV8's plywood tray broke in a few spots. No big deal though, a quick glue and repair job, and she was flying again in no time. For our newest RV, we learned from our first one and used UmaGrip instead of Velcro. This makes it so that the battery won't slide while under the tension of the battery strap, but it takes much less effort to pull the battery off after a flight than Velcro. Flex understands that keeping planes light is important when it comes to what makes a good flying airplane. This would explain their approach to the battery tray being a little thinner. Our only other critique was that in comparison to other models out there, there was a bit more to the assembly process. It really wasn't the end of the world to take out some glue for the vertical stab, install the motor, and install some push rods and servo arms, but some folks who prefer nearly turnkey models may like to know this. The cost of doing business nowadays is through the roof, so it only makes sense that to reduce the cost to get their products stateside, Flex opted to take this approach, especially since they are a smaller company. What stands out to us the most with the RV810E is how locked it feels. Where you point the plane is where she'll go, regardless of what Mother Nature throws at her. It's for this reason, among many others, that this is one of our favorite planes in our fleet. If you're interested in owning one yourself, go check out tailheavyrc.com and pick one up with free shipping. If you're just here for the videos, we were thinking about making a bush conversion for the RV810E and putting it through its paces, like we did with the T28 bush conversion. If you're interested in seeing this, leave a comment and let us know. Happy landings, and bounce one on for us. We'll see you next time with a new upload.